dad i'm scared and he said just remember one thing don't worry of what the world thinks of you think of what you're going to think of yourself right and he said just just remember this one line which is sabse bada rog hai kya kahenge log welcome to questions i wanted to ask with anshu today i am in conversation with mansi zaveri who is the founder and ceo of kidstop press which is one of the most trusted discovery platform for child care and parenting in india Mansi and I spoke about the need to prioritize self, the discipline that is required to do that, and how the ability to say no becomes one of the most important pillars to follow through that discipline. Thank you, Anshu. Thank you. Looking forward, and uh, we've been big fan of what you're doing. So I'm glad. I think uh, you know uh, when I was thinking, what am I going to ask Mansi? Because I've been planning to speak to you for. for quite a while now it is not just i i don't want to speak to you not just as a business owner as somebody who's who's created and founded kids stop press and running it but i think uh, there's so much more from your own life that you know that you're bringing to the table and your own learnings that you're putting back to your business that i i think that it's interesting for every woman every mother who listens that you know whatever be your surrounding whoever you are you can build something out of it and i think that's pretty much the precise of today's conversation right a lot of us once you once we get married you come into new families there's there's a new system the new set of people in laws especially you know in indian setups a lot of times it's not in our hand right our time is not in our hand especially for women uh we're constantly doing things for others how do you find that me time when your time is distributed amongst so many people and you are you know you have lots and lots going on as from a responsibility perspective honestly you are absolutely right especially in the indian setup it's very very hard and as indians we are not taught to say no very easily our yeses are far more than our nos and i think that causes one a huge huge problem second is we don't want to we don't want to say a no because we are worried we will offend somebody and we rather take rather push ourselves or give up on ourselves than say that no because kisi aur ko bura lag jayega so we from bachpan se we've been taught to not prioritize ourselves right yes. so i was i as i live in a joint family so it's not an exception i came from a very very large family and then moved on to a, a, you know i i live with my in laws we have lots of relatives we are a very socially uh, be, you know social family and stuff but what happens is that i think another thing that i think again is ingrained very early on was to not be a people pleaser right somewhere is very important to claim your time draw your own boundaries because if you're not going to do it somebody else is going to be doing that for you and then you're always going to live with that feeling that i'm not happy because i'm not doing anything for myself it could be anything it could just be a 30 minute walk for yourself right that's all i'm saying in the day but you have to do it because you have to learn to somewhere draw the line right example if i am going to sleep at say 9 915 every single day have i done everything that um that i need to do and have i aligned my children's timings and all my responsibilities to my schedule i have done that have i communicated to all and sundry or guests or whoever that listen i'm sorry but i have an early morning thing tomorrow so i'm sorry but i will have to leave it's okay you will have to say no you have to learn to say no and saying no is not a bad thing let's make our nos far more frequent than our yeses without offending there's no intention to offend so and i think also setting up expectations very early on if you set the expectations that you are going to push yourself no matter what but not prioritize yourself then it's okay you know just the other day i was having a conversation with a friend that i you know during covid when the child had covid i don't know of any child who is not quarantined with their mother always it's the mother who quarantines with the child why yes. why just assuming that you are going to be okay women are stronger women can manage in that sitting in that one room you will manage your work also you will be able to micromanage the other child outside also you will be able to micromanage whether what the cook is making how is this child feeling forget that the infection will actually get to you 
and still you think that you need to prioritize yourself second how because your health is of utmost importance right and i'm talking of health as an only physical health right now even the mental health that's equally important so i feel that it's such a small thing and it struck me while i was actually quarantined with my daughter that you know i'm very fortunate that i have the option to make those choices i've been very vocal about my choices from the start but i know lots of women and you're absolutely right they're not vocal you know to speak up is not always to speak against to speak up is not to offend people to speak up is to stand up for yourself you've actually touched a huge huge subject about learning to say no right i deal with this on a daily basis because you know we all live in a society how do you learn to say no at nan and not feel scared not feel fear not find fear within within yourself ki oh mother in law ko bura lag jayega ya boss ko bura lag jayega ya kisi neighbor ko bura lag jayega relative ko bura how do you not get into that state mansi so one is setting the expectations very clear from day one right um you know from the day that you entered that household did you say that you said i'm used to this to this if you need me to do anything within these hours i'm very very happy to do it right so example when i came into the family i i set the expectations very very early on that listen i am an early riser you want me to do something you want me to hang out with somebody at 5 in the morning i'm very happy to do it why don't we make our dinners into our breakfast right let's let's sort of do that whether it's your boss if she's asking you to work for crazy hours let, why don't you ask her that hey i would love to do this but tell me what else do you need me to deprioritize right because some you have only those many hours in the day right so yes. you are not saying no but there are different ways of saying it. hey so that i said if she's giving you an extra assignment hey i would love to do this what else would you want me to deprioritize hey i would love to come out with you but can we do it not on a monday but can we do it on a friday because i have a saturday off can you do that can you tell your mother in law of course i want to come with you shopping but can we let's let's do saturday afternoon at 3 it always works even whether it's your children you want her to choose between lego and uh, and uh, coloring you do, you're not saying don't do lego you give, or don't play don't watch tv hey instead of watching tv do you want to play lego or you want to draw you're giving options and usually when we're given one between choices between two or three things we choose one out of the three we'll never say no for those choices you know uh, mansi i'm going to discuss or uh, you know dissect the no part a little bit more i also feel that this the ability to say no comes from a lot of uh, need for validation right uh, we are not able to say no because we want that person in the family or somebody outside to validate us and say okay yeah you've done a good job and that's directly linked to your belief in yourself what do you think about this entire thing and where does this start i feel it starts from your ability to believe yourself how do you inculcate that belief in yourself you know i'm going to say something that's very very close to my heart which my dad taught me when i was starting to stop this and he told me i said dad i'm scared and he said just remember one thing don't worry of what the world thinks of you think of what you're going to think of yourself right and he said just just remember this one line which is sabse bada rog hai kya kahenge log right you are always going to be on the back foot always dis- defensive if you're going to be worried about what the world thinks of your choices there are there are so many people and you who laugh at me because i go to sleep at 9 9 9 8:30 9 right there are people who laugh at me thinking i am a maverick i probably wake up at 4:45 what do you do dude are you crazy what do you do at waking up at that hour what i do for myself is far more important what than what they think of me and it's I a know. journey it's a journey it's not going to come overnight i mean again you know i used to pay a gym membership 20 years ago or maybe 22 years ago i used to spend 16000 on a gym membership when i was 16 or 17 or 18 right um or 20 for that matter when i had my first salary my friends would spend it on different things i would spend it on a gym membership and everybody would be like you're crazy you can spend that we can go out for more parties why are you spending it on gym membership but i think somewhere of what people thought of me just didn't matter and again you build layers you know like an onion you build concentric circles you build build peels around you 
of people who should matter. Your family matters, your close friends matter. And how many people are you giving permission to matter to you? Absolutely. Those five, eight, or the first layer, the second layer of the onion matter. Those are the only people who should matter to you. If you're making them unhappy with your choices, it should matter to you. If you're making the world unhappy with your choices, which really, I mean, does it even matter is what you need to question. You know, there are only 24 hours in a day. And, and you know, Randy Zuckerberg said this very brilliantly. She said, out of these five things, you'll be able to prioritize any three, right? Which is family, health, work, friends, and sleep. I would put sleep and health now in the same bucket. I would say the fifth would be entertainment, like, you know, watching, watching shows or learning or things like that, right? I have prioritized my three. So I would really urge the audience that, you know, decide what your top three are. And then don't worry about what the world thinks of your top three. Your top three is for you. I mean, it's interesting. And I think I also feel that those top three can change on a daily basis, Absolutely. right? Top five, top five stays same forever. Thank you, Manti, for sharing your thoughts and experiences. It was a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you for listening to this episode. If you've liked this conversation, please don't forget to give us a feedback, drop a review, share this episode to your friends and family or to those who think will benefit from it. You can also connect me on my social media channels, on Instagram, on Twitter, on LinkedIn. Drop me a comment. I will be very, very happy to hear from you.